Another InDesign quick tip by Fatfly Design. When you place an image into Adobe InDesign, whether it be from Illustrator or from Photoshop or maybe some other source, it's important that you understand that those images are contained within a container. It's a picture box. And sometimes you can even hide these edges so you wouldn't even see the edges, but it's a it's a rectangle that contains that, okay? Same with this photo down here below. So as you're editing your images in InDesign and manipulating them, you need to know whether you're working on the container, the content, or both the container and the contents. So what do I mean when I talk about that? Okay, so let's go down here to this photograph first. I've placed this image. It was originally created in Photoshop and then placed into InDesign. It's held within the square container and if I simply click on the image, avoiding the center, just click on the image, I have now selected the container and the contents, meaning if I click and drag, both the contents and that container move with it, okay? However, if I hover over the middle and I click on this icon, now I have selected the contents of that box, but not the box itself. And now if I click and drag, I'm moving the contents separately from the container. So the container stays put and I'm simply moving these contents around within that container. I can even crop my image this way and, and make it so I can't even see it. I'm going to undo this. So one more undo. There we go. We're back to the way it started. So if I click on my box, now click and drag, it's container and contents. If I click on the center icon. Now I'm working with the contents only. Or I can grab a corner of this box and I can change the container but leave the contents untouched. Okay? So now let's look at this from something that was brought in from Illustrator. The same rules apply, only this time I have four different images that were all in one artboard. But what if I only really want this image here? Well what I could do is I could grab the container and resize the container not touching the contents and essentially I'm cropping out the rest of it. Okay, it's all still out here. I've just changed the container but not the contents. Okay, if I want to work with the contents I hover over the center, click once. Now I'm working on the contents and I can rearrange those. Okay, if I want to manipulate both the container and the contents, like resize them, I'll click on here once. I will grab a corner holding Command Shift down. That will allow me to scale both the container and its contents. It takes a little while for beginners to get used to all the different places to click and what keys to hold down, but I would guess after just a few minutes of playing with this, you'll get the hang of it. Just remember, anything you place in InDesign from Photoshop or Illustrator, you will have the option of working on the container, the contents, or both at the same time. Thanks for watching this InDesign quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. Also, if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.